Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Desserts for the Weekend. Today we're going to be making some mango cupcakes, which are pretty easy to make. They are super yummy and they are served fresh for the summer. As far as for ingredients go, you're going to be needing flour. Now the original recipe, which I'm going to link below, calls for self-rising flour and all-purpose flour. I couldn't find the self-rising, so I just used cake flour and to that I added baking powder, some butter at room temperature, sugar, eggs, milk, and some vanilla. So the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 and then start working with the mixture. So first we're going to mix the flour with the baking powder and we're going to stir it and then sift it and then we're going to set that aside and then on the mixer we're going to be mixing first the eggs for about five minutes until they are really creamy and fluffy they should turn kind of a light yellow and then to that we're going to be adding the sugar this is going to be looking like a sand or something like that we're going to be adding next the eggs one at a time beating after each egg is added in a separate plate we're going to be mixing the vanilla and the milk so what you want to do is to the mixture on your mixing bowl, you're going to add a bit of the flour mixture goes in your mixing bowl. You're going to add kind of one third of the milk that you have on your plate on the milk. Then you're going to stir that, but don't mix it too long because it's going to be uh, a really dense cupcake and we don't want that. We want it to be real fluffy and really light. And then we're going to put half of the mixture of flour in the mixing bowl followed by half the milk and then again mixing it well and then the rest of the flour goes in as well as the milk beat until just until everything is incorporated don't overbeat it because as i said it's going to be really dense don't forget to be scraping down the sides kind of every time you add something new because things get stuck in the bottom of the bowl and there goes your mixture now this mixture makes a lot of cupcakes like 25 or something like that i'm not going to be making the 25 right now i'm just going to be starting with 10 cupcakes so for that i'm going to be like lining my cupcake pan with some cupcake wrappers and then to have an even amount of butter in each and every one of my cupcakes I'm going to be using this ice cream scoop so once you have done that that goes into the oven for about 20 minutes or so but I would suggest you to just keep on checking it every oven is different then what am I going to do with the leftover butter that I have I'm going to just grab a glass and I'm going to put a Ziploc bag into the Ziploc bag since for me one ice cream scoop equals one cupcake I'm going to just be adding five ice cream scoops to each and every one of my Ziploc bags so each and every one of those Ziploc bags is going to be giving me at the end of the day five cupcakes so this is going to kind of uh, separate the mixture for me and then once I have done that I'm just going to close my Ziploc bags and that goes into the fridge and while my cupcakes are baking, it's a perfect time for me to make the frosting. I did use this recipe before, I'm going to link it again below. But it's pretty simple, just cream cheese at room temperature, powdered sugar, which is I like icing sugar or confectioner sugar, vanilla, heavy whipping cream. Measurements are going to be on my blog. You're going to start by creaming your cream cheese. But just don't over mix it because I did that and you're going to be seeing at the end that the mixture is kind of too loose. My frosting is too loose. So I had to put it on the freezer for like 10 minutes to just make it harden. So I guess the key was that my cream cheese was a bit too soft at the beginning. I just let it too long at room temperature and then I overbeat it. That's not ideal for the best frosting that is going to be working well with piping bags and piping tips. To that, we're going to be adding the confectioner sugar or icing sugar or powder sugar. How do you call it? Let me know. To my, oh, I was, by the way, at um, medium speed, which in my mixer is like a speed number four, just so you know. And I was working with the paddle attachment. And then I'm going to be switching to my whisk attachment in here. And I'm going to add my heavy whipping cream. And then just uh, beat it until everything is just like, you know, fluffy. And I've done this, as I said before, this recipe and worked better for me because of the cream cheese, essentially. And here I'm just showing you how I store my frosting when it's just loose. That a Tupperware goes into the fridge for as long as it takes for it to be firm. And once your cupcakes are baked and cooled, and make sure they are cooled because if not, frosting is going to be melting. I'm just going to go and add some frosting. What I'm doing here is putting 
the frosting like in the middle part on the top of the cupcake and then grabbing my spatula and then just dragging the excess towards the edges of the cupcake so I can have like a smooth top. And then we're going to be taking the mango. But anyways, I'm just going to start by peeling it and then I'm just going to cut the mango and then I'm going to just chop them into pieces that I can put on my cupcake. Once my mangoes are ready for me to place them on the top, I'm just going to go and grab a piping tip number 1M from Wilton in a piping bag and I'm going to be just swirling around the cupcake, kind of making a wall in there and then I'm going to just place my mangoes being held with my spoon. They are delicious, they are super super yummy. If you don't have access to mango, you can always use the fruit that you have access to. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to tune in next weekend for the next Dessert Story Weekend. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more stuff. If you recreate this yummy dessert, don't forget to send me your recreations to Twitter and Instagram. I would love, love, love to see those. Thank you so much for your time watching and give it a try guys, bye!